are so happy that each and every one of you are here today and in some way or another I know you all play a special part in our lives a really special part because you're invited to be a part of this very very special wedding ceremony <laughs> Alicia and Lance I know that the foundation for your relationship is your mutual respect and love for each other. And your relationship is supported by an enduring and intimate friendship. And both of you realize that happiness in marriage is not something that just magically happens. In fact, a good marriage must be created. It is an art. And the art of marriage the little things are the big things, such as never being too old to hold hands and remembering to say, I love you at least once a day, and never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue throughout the years. The art of marriage means having a mutual sense of values and common objectives and standing together, facing the world, forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. And doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other which means not expecting the husband to wear a halo <laughs> or the wife to have wings of an angel, <laughs> although you look like an angel. <laughs> In the art of marriage, it is necessary to cultivate patience, understanding, and perhaps the most important way of all, a sense of humor. And having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere where each can grow, where each can find room for the things of the spirit, and where each can search for what is good and for what is beautiful. And the art of marriage, you both will strive to establish a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. And finally, the art of marriage involves not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. <laughs> Alicia and Lance, you have come together in the hope that the love which brought you to this union may go out beyond itself onto the lives of others. And you know it is not easy to build a deep personal relationship, even in marriage. So we ask that the promises and hopes of this union be realized. Grant Lance and Alicia the patience to listen, the capacity to understand, the compassion to give comfort, and the joy to laugh and to be. Let your marriage make a home where neither person is a stranger. Let it offer illumination and growth. Let it bask in the joy of giving and the excitement of shared discoveries. Let it be large enough to endure the challenges of things. May silence never separate you. May you always return to each other. 
If I could just share a few words from my heart with both of you guys, who I love and so privileged to be a part of this day. I want to reflect on, I'm not sure if any of y'all have heard of that Art of Marriage reading or not, but it was written by a fellow named Wilfred Peterson. And he was an essayist and philosopher from the 30s and 40s. And in fact, that particular reading was in large part the ceremony between Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward in 1958. They were big fans of Wilfred Peterson. So they had a pretty good stretch, a pretty good run. So, yeah. And uh, I want to reflect on a couple of things in the art of marriage. One of the things that is mentioned is not going to bed angry. I'd like to put a little twist on that. I'd like to suggest that every night before your head hits your pillow, that you find one thing from that day to appreciate about each other. And I know you can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he said maybe. That's <laughs> why I love it. And the other thing I want you to reflect on, this is something I think we can all reflect on. Uh, it was mentioned the importance of, of forgiveness. You know, it's interesting. I think that sometimes we view forgiveness as a notion of weakness when really it's the most wonderful gift we can give to each other. Uh, if you break the word up, forgiving, it means you're an advocate for forgiving. So it's not only important, I think, and a lot of spiritual uh, people would say, <laughs> that you forgive yourselves and each other of the little mistakes you're going to make along the way, but also forgive yourselves. Uh, there's an old saying that the holiest spot on earth is where an ancient conflict has transformed into a present life. So... Forgiveness is pretty powerful. So now that you have considered these, love, these, these words of love and commitment, I'd like each one of you to affirm your decision to become husband and wife by responding to the following questions of intent and vows in a positive manner. <laughs> Lance, you take Alicia to be your wife and equal. Will you share your life openly with her and strive to love, honor, and stand beside her always in times of celebration and in times of sadness, in times of health and in times of sickness, in times of joy and in times of challenges? I will. That's great. <laughs> Alicia, you take Lance to be your husband and equal. Will you share your life openly with him and strive? to love, honor, and stand beside him always, in times of celebration and in times of sadness, in times of health and in times of sickness, in times of joy and in times of challenges. May I please have the rings? <laughs> <laughs> A circle is a symbol of the sun, the earth, the universe, of wholeness, perfection, peace, and of unity. Like circles, your rings have no beginning and no ending. They are tokens of the growing relationship you have come here to celebrate and to confirm. Lance and Alicia, as often as either of you look upon these rings on each other's fingers, Please be reminded of the promises that you've made to each other today. And be reminded of the love and support that I know that you're feeling from your family and friends who are so happy to be with you today. Lance, I'd like you to take Alicia's ring now. And as you place it on her finger, please repeat after me. Alicia, with this ring, Alicia, with this ring, I join.